morning students today i am going to discuss a new topic students the topic name is application of partial differential equation what students application of partial differential equations now we already know the definition of partial differential equation students partial differential equation okay what is the definition of partial differential equation students an equation which involves single dependent variable with respect to two or more independent variables two or more independent variables such equations are called partial differential equation see students here do square y by do t square that is equal to c square do square y by do x square this is partial differential equation students now what he says application application of partial differential equation Okay, students. Now, in our cell, we have uh, three application students. First one is wave equation. What students? Wave equation. Second one is one-dimensional, one-dimensional, one-dimensional heat equation. What students? One-dimensional heat equation. And third one, two-dimensional. two dimensional heat flow equations what students two dimensional heat flow equations once again students in our syllabus we have three applications first one is wave equations and second one is a one dimensional heat equation and third one is two dimensional heat flow equations two dimensional heat flow equations that means this this three applications contains partial differential equation students and with some condition students with some conditions okay say so the conditions here boundary condition boundary condition students now let us see what is initial condition what is boundary condition and what is boundary value problem okay students how can the solve the boundary value problems by method method of separation of variable questions what is method of separation of variable let us see initial conditions if the conditions are specified at a single point or students the conditions specified at a single point then it is called a initial condition see student condition specified at a single point say 0 Zero, zero. He specified at a single point. So such conditions are called initial conditions. Initial conditions. Now you can guess what is boundary condition. What is boundary condition, students? He specified at more than one point. What students? More than one point. Then it is called boundary condition. What students? Boundary conditions. See example. Y at zero comma t is equal to zero. Y at l comma t that is equal to zero. He specified more than one point, students. More than one points. See here also, students. Y at one, y at two, y dash at zero. Okay, students. Now all these are examples of boundary conditions. Boundary conditions. Now what is boundary value problem? Let us see, students. A differential equation along with boundary conditions are called boundary value problem. Okay, students. For example, do square y by do t square that is equal to c square. Do square y by do x square. Y at zero comma t that is equal to zero. Y at l comma t that is equal to zero. So, students, for differential equations, say partial differential equation along with boundary condition. These two are boundary condition, students. Are called boundary value problem. That means this problem is called this problem is called boundary value problem. Or students, this problem is called boundary value problem. to find this solution of this boundary value problem we are using method of separation of variable students we are using method of separation of variable previously when there is a linear differential equation what we have done there students generally we are finding the solution general solution later we give conditions like this and we are substituting the conditions then we get the arbitrary condition value here it is not possible students here it is not possible to solve boundary value problem we are using 
method of separation of variables students method of separation of variables so what is method of separation of variable see students in this method we have a partial differential equation involving two independent variables say x and y what students suppose there are a there is the equation student. there is the equation like this say dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square that is equal to zero so there is one a equation students say x and y what are the independent variables students x and y so to find the solution of this differential equation so solution of the differential equation we can write x of x and y of y students that means what is dependent variable here students u so it can be written as x of x and into y of y y of y x of x and y of y now you substitute these two here students substitute these two then that dou square by dou x comes x double dash y plus dou square by dou y comes x into y double dash uh, y double dash that is equal to zero and you separate the students you separate the variables see students what that is the matter separation of variables you separate the variables simply integrate students and substitute it here we get the required solution our students required then we get required solution that means further further if we are discussing wave equation one dimensional heat equation two dimensional heat equations we are using method of separation of variable students so this is very very important so let us see the problem on method of separation of variable let us see the problem on method of separation of variables using the method of separation of variables solve dou u by dou x that is equal to 2 into dou u by dou t plus u where u of x comma 0 that is equal to 6 into e power minus 3x e power minus 3x solution what is given data students given dou u by dou x that is equal to 2 into dou u by dou t plus u and what is given condition students u at x comma 0 that is equal to 6 into e power minus 3x 6 into e power minus 3x so this is 1 and this is 2 students 1 2 now what is say students method of separation of variable so method of separation of variable variables what is dependent variable students u so what is what are the independent variables x t so you write here x of x into t of t say this is three students this is three now from one from one so students do u by do x see do you, we have x students do u by do x means it is x dash x dash into t that is equal to 2 into dou u by dou t students this time x into t dash plus u u is x t x t now you transpose x t left hand side students so we get here x dash x dash into t minus x t that is equal to x t dash to x t dash now taking common t students here and cross multiply it we get here x dash minus x that is equal to here we have t dash what is coefficient here students 2x so it cross multiply it we get here 2x here we have t dash by t okay when these two equations are equal students say k when two equations are equal means those two are e equal to constant students some constant so say k now take first one students x dash minus x dash minus x by 2x that is equal to k okay now you simply cross multiply it we get here x dash minus x that is equal to 2xk now you transpose right hand side students so x dash is equal to taking common x students we get here 2k plus 1 into x 
to k plus 1 into x. Again, you cross multiply x students, you get here x dash by x that is equal to 2k plus 1, 2k plus 1. Simply integrate students, integrating, integrating with respect to x, we get, we get integral of x dash by x into dx that is equal to integral of 2k plus 1 into dx plus c plus c so derivative of x here we have students so what is integration students log x that is equal to 2k plus 1 2k plus 1 integral of dx students x plus c i want to write x students x so e power 2k plus 1 into x plus c so i want to write here a into e power 2k plus 1 2k plus 1 into into x into x say so this is uh, 4 students 4 what is a students now come on guess now what is a what i am done here e power 2k plus 1 into x plus c so a power m plus 1 m plus n so a power m into a power n so a is here students e power c a is e power c now take second one students second one what is second one t dash by t that is equal to k simple students simple integrating integrating with respect to t we get we get integral of t dash by t into dt that is equal to integral of k dt plus c1 say c1 t dash by t students what is integration log t that is equal to k into integral of dt is t plus c1 same i want to find t value students so t that is equal to e power kt plus c1 kt plus c1 so that implies t is equal to b into e power kt e power kt where b is equal to e power c1 e power c1 so this is 5 students now 4 5 4 5 substitute in 3 students 4 5 substitute 4 and 5 in in 3 we get we get how times students u that is equal to u that is equal to x students a into a into e power 2k plus 1 into x t versions b into e power kt so i want to write b here students b into e power kt b power kt this is the solution students now we need to find a b value students by using the condition 2 students condition equation 2 so from 2 from 2 solutions what is this value what is this value 6 into e power minus 3x that is equal to a b into e power 2k plus 1 2k plus 1 x as it is x students so x as it is x t value students 0 t value 0 so e power k into 0 so this value is 1 students this value is now compare what students compare a b value is 6 uh, here we have x students here also we have x so by comparing get here 2k plus 1 that is equal to minus 3 minus 3 so k is equal to minus 4 by 2 so we get here minus 2 students minus 2 so substitute substitute so this is uh, 6 substitute in 6 we get we get u that is equal to a b value 6 e power 2k plus 1 what is k value students minus 2 minus 2 here minus 2 into 2 minus 4 minus 4 plus 1 minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 x plus e power k value is minus 2 so not plus into e power minus 2 t e power minus 2 t Simply substitute, uh, substitute students, we get a k value is minus 2, so minus 2 into 2, minus 4 plus 1, minus 3 x, k value is minus 2 students, so a power minus 2 t, which is required 
solution of given equation once again students a given equation right method of separation of variables what is method of separation of variables you write product of independent variables what are the independent variables students x and t all right and then you substitute this product in given equation students like this and you separate the variables students say so that is that that's why it's called separation of variables separate we are separating x as x and t students simply you uh, simplify simply we get integration integration we get the solution students here similarly you simple integration we get the solution here and these two values substitute here x and x of x and value t of t value and by using the conditions we get a b value and k value students and finally substitute in the solution we get the required solution of given problem students given problem if you have any doubt please comment in the comment box students please like the video hope you understand thank you thank you for watching this video jai hind